What is up guys, Nick here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to enable the native Wi-Fi hotspot on your Sprint Galaxy Note 5 without being rooted. Now if you are rooted, you can just download an app from the App Store that will do this for you. But if you're not rooted, then this is what you're going to have to do. Um, the very first thing you need to do is get your MSL code. Now if you got your MSL code when you activated your phone like I did, then you're good to go. However, if you didn't, then what you need to do is call Sprint and ask them for your MSL code and tell them that you're having APN issues or something like that and that you want to reset your phone and um, that it's just not been working properly or something. And they may be hesitant to give it to you because you can change these settings and really screw up your phone, but what they really don't want you to do is unlock your phone and switch carriers, which you can also do that by changing these settings. Now, um, uh, once you have your MSL code, well actually I'll, I'll go through another method of getting your MSL code. Um, what you can do is if you have an old Sprint phone, you can swap to that phone and then wait about an hour, go online, swap back to your Note 5, and uh, once you swap back, it, you'll get a little activation code. It's a little six digit code, it's all numbers, and um, you'll put in that code and it will allow you it's, that's your MSL. It will allow you to make these changes. Now, to get into the settings, you have to enter pound, pound, 3282, pound. And uh, usually it will ask you if you want to view or edit. And uh, you'll click edit, and it will prompt you for your MSL code. You'll put that in, click OK, and it'll bring up this menu. I went ahead and did that because I don't want to share my MSL code just in case somebody could do something with it. Now, the next step is go down to APN settings. Go to APN2 EHRPD Internet, click the little gear, scroll down to APN Type, and now this won't be in here. You want to hit, you'll have Default, you'll have MMS, you want to enter a comma, and then you want to enter that DUN. So it'll look, it'll look like this when you get in, and then you'll enter DUN, click OK, hit More, hit Save, that's good. Scroll down, do the same thing in... Um, the APN2 LTE internet and uh, that's it you can go back out and now um, you switch over into your settings and uh, go to your hotspot and so I guess that's the name of my router and then you'll have a password and initially the password will be your phone number I found that out because I tried to make this video already and ended up almost sharing my phone number with everyone. So I'm making it again and I just changed it to 1234567.8. So I'll switch on the hotspot. It comes on. It says no device is connected. Bear with me for a moment while I get my laptop out. Now I assume it's going to show on the device that my laptop has connected and that's the only proof that I can really give you but um this really does work it worked on the Note 4 it works on the S6 Edge it works on I think every single Samsung device that Sprint has and I'm pretty sure every single Android device they've ever made but don't quote me on that I I can't promise anything and uh, my laptop's firing up here actually I have my desktop turned on already let's see if it shows up so there it shows up clicking and you'll hear me entering the password one two three four five six seven eight i'll click next no i don't want to share anything okay so you can see nick's game box is now connected and uh let's do a little speed test here i am on lte so my speeds should be decent It's finding a server. 63 millisecond ping. Looks like 9.3 megabits a second download and about 5 megabits, 6 megabits per second upload. Um, that's at 3.26 p.m. on a Friday. And uh, that's, that's not bad because there's a lot of people leaving, leaving town right now and streaming different things through their phones, either navigation or um, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's it. It's really easy. Um, there's pretty much nothing else to do with it. If you have problems, uh, post them in the comments section. I'm pretty good about replying because my channel's pretty darn small. I don't let a whole lot of comments go unless it's just hate, and then I either delete it, flag it, or just 
don't say anything and let haters be haters. So, um, yeah, let me know if I helped you guys out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I also have a blog where I'm going to do a tutorial on this same thing. Uh, you guys can go over and check that out, and uh, I'll have a link to that in the description. So thanks for watching, guys.